working on this three-way video switcher. Five dollars on eBay, cheap, and everybody says it works great, and I couldn't get it to work, so I just figured out what I was doing wrong, and I, I hope this can help anybody else. I'm using channel six, so on this side, you have the signal side that tells the switcher which channel to go to. It's got three choices to go, you know, to pick from. So right there, it's in channel six, going into the the control side of the the board. On the other side of the board, you have N1, N2, N3, and an output. So this allows you to use three cameras if you want. I'm going to use two for now. I couldn't get it to work, and I couldn't figure out why. And I was getting a black screen. I wasn't getting a snow white screen on my monitor. So as you can see here, I've got the one camera facing one way. And if I switch it, I got the other camera facing the other way. So now I got it to work. What I was doing wrong was I was assuming that the five volts fed from the receiver would power the cameras also. I thought it would go right through the board, but it doesn't. It's isolated. So basically these are all dry contacts. Your receiver decides which dry contact to use, camera one, camera two, or camera three. So, to fix this, what I did, and I guess this is the way they, they wanted you to do it in the first place, but of course they don't give you any directions. I wired my input from my video transmitter. It comes with a 5 volt output, so I just wire that into the positive side of the output plug. And of course the ground goes to the negative side of the uh, output plug of this board. And of course the signal goes, you know, carries the signal from the board to your transmitter. Now, whenever you switch it to camera 1, it's going to transfer both the ground and the, the positive to that camera, feeding it, and then it's going to return its video signal back through the signal prong and feed it out to uh, the output side of the board to your video transmitter. So basically you have to feed in power on your output plug and that will feed your cameras every time you switch it from camera 1 to camera 2 to camera 3 if you use it. So as you see again, camera 1 is now feeding the camera and supplying the signal back to the transmitter. Now go to channel 2, which I'm not using, and it goes to a black screen. So you know it's transmitting something, there's just nothing there for it to transmit. So you don't get the white noise, you do get a black screen. And again, if I go to camera 3, um, you know, you're going to get the other camera. So I hope this helps somebody out because it cost me a full day trying to figure this out. All right, good luck. I don't know if this will help anybody out, but I'll see what I can do here. This is to your receiver. This just controls what these dry contacts do. It's just simply a dry contact. Now, down here is the video out. This will go to your video transmitter on your copter or your airplane transmitting the signal back. I only drew in the signal wire, but the same principle applies for the positive and the negative also. So your signal wire for this, in this case, for the output, comes up, and this will be on the heel side of your dry contact. When you switch down to camera one, it's going to come down to here and feed your signal out to camera one. Also, in this case, it would do the exact same thing on another contact for the positive and the negative at the same time. So in other words, when I energize camera one, it's also going to take this positive and put it to this pin and this negative and apply it to this pin also. Now, okay. when you shift it to camera two, the same thing on camera one will apply now to camera two. So the signal will transfer over to camera two signal. The positive will transfer over to camera 2's positive, and the negative will transfer over to camera 2's negative. And of course, the same applies to camera 3 if you decide to use it. So, again, I hope this helps somebody because uh, it drove me nuts.